That's in the what we call the Ghanaian farmer. We interact with a group of farmers with over 100 in number who are practicing this integrated system of farming. And they are in Asin Ganga. Uh -huh. Have you heard that? Uh -huh. wow. <laughs> All right, so my name is Enyo Nam, and get interactive on our social media platform Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube. If you missed it on Joy Prime Television, remember to catch us live on the Ghanaian Farmer YouTube channel and watch our program. I'm going for a quick visa. When I come back, the agri uh, manager in this district will be joining me to explain more about this system because it's something new, something novel. And I'm sure if I'm out there and this is your first time, do not say I'm doing rice separately and fish farm separately. Learn something from this interview and practice. I'll be right back after this. Stay tuned. <laughs> Mr. JB, he is our great director, district director here, and he's going to be telling more about this system that they are practicing here or helping farmers to actually practice. What is the benefit? Why won't I do my fish farm separately and my rice elsewhere? How is it going to help you as an individual hoping to venture into either fish or rice farming? Thank you so much, Mr. JB. Thank you. All right. So this community is called what? Asin Gangan. Asin Gangan. Gang. Anything. Asin North District. Okay. What are some of the basic commodities that you produce here? We produce rice, mm -hmm. we produce plantain, we produce cassava, we produce vegetables such as cucumber. Okay. Yes. All right. So now let's focus or let's zoom into the project that is happening here. Yeah. Like I said in my intro, usually when you walk about or visiting farms, you either see a rice farm on its own, that is it. fish farm on its own. But you are integrating yeah. this system. What is this system about? Or what is, what, when we mention integrated system of farming, what are we talking about? Yes, integrated system of farming is about intercropping either with, uh, what do we call it, animals or even livestock. Not necessarily only the, the, the commodity or the rice okay. that we see. Right. Yeah. Okay. So how many farmers are into this practice or this system? Yeah, as, as you made mention in your intro, it's just a novel that we are introducing mm. to our farmers. Mm. This is an FBO. Okay. And I'm happy to say that they won the best uh, uh, FBO in the district. Okay. Yes. Right. Just uh, 2023 uh, National Farmers uh, Day. Oh, the, the one that we had in the district, they won it. So mm. they are very vibrant, mm. yes, farmer-based organization. Mm. That is why we want to introduce this technology to them. Okay. Yes. So how long has this started since you started this project? It's about three and a half months. Just three and a half yeah, months. Yeah, just three and a half months. Okay. Yes. So how many women are in the group and how many men? Are <laughs> <laughs> uh, the women so, more than the men? No, 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 no. The, the women, the women, yeah, the women are just thirty-six. Okay. How yeah, did you women, bring them yes. together? Um, are they all individual farmers who you brought together or they are just a cooperative? Yes, it's, they are individual farmers okay. who saw the need to come together. They are, as you, you know, they are Rice Farmers Association. Okay. They had problem with uh, marketing their rice. So exactly. there was a need uh -huh. to equal, uh, equally come together. Okay. And then when they came together, they benefited in one way or the other okay. because through Kaika, they've been able to, they are, they are blessed with uh, farm equipment okay. of which they are using in their uh, product, rice production. Hmm. Yes. Okay, so this is, uh, what kind of rice is this? This variety? It's the agra. The agra. Yeah. Okay. And what fish do you have there? The catfish. Okay. Catfish. All right. Okay. So how did you say the fish is going to benefit the rice that I don't have to buy fertilizer? Yeah. That <clears throat> Thank you very much. On a normal circumstances, if yeah. you are doing rice production, you need if it is an acre, you need uh, two bags of NPK. Okay. And then later, you need to apply either ammonia mm -hmm. or urea. Mm -hmm. But with this technology, we are only going to use the waste okay. or the waste water uh -huh. to serve as a fertilizer, organic fertilizer, okay. to water the rice. Right. And by so doing, there's no need for you to buy either NPK or the urea because all the organic matter you are going to get from the uh, from the wastewater. Mm. You know, we feed them yes. and then the, 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 the fish equally defecate in the yes. water. Yes. So as periodically we change the water, the water 
uh, nourish the, the rice okay. and then by so doing they get the needed uh, nutrients okay. for them to grow okay. as you can see right. we have the the year yes, all right understand. so before i actually come to do yes. my rice yes. either by um i don't know the system used for planting yes. okay um what do i do do i or do i start the fish farm first and then open the water for the ground to become enough moist for me to plant my rice or how do i do it yeah you nest you, yeah you nest you nest the distance the rice okay you then later you establish the fish pond yes then when you do the uh, transplanting and it is established then you use the distance you use the wastewater to you know you just you just you just open the water we have the outlet there yes. of which you go and then of see course. yeah so as it passes through the rice then it nourishes it okay. simple as that so how often do i open the the water around the fish so yes. that my rice can yeah most 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 often we don't want to we don't want the letter the water to become dirty so periodically maximum of four five days okay. then we open for okay. it to pass through the distance the okay. rice and then we change the distance the water right yes then so I'll wait to the next four that days, is it then, then we I'll open, open that is it okay so i'll be doing that for the next three yes. months yes then my rice is ready that is it. for harvesting that is it. okay now the the fish what happened to the fish do you harvest and sell or you have to keep it the purpose leave just to be producing your rice always yes when it is matured okay okay we 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 because we want to improve the nutrition needs of the farmers mm -hmm. by giving them protein mm -hmm. yeah they get the fish to serve as uh, their source of protein ah, so come on, enjoy fish, right? that is it they don't sell it oh they can equally sell some to buy the the, the rice seed and then they need it but periodically or uh, the essence of the program is to improve the, their nutrition needs, which okay. is the protein okay. aspect. Right. So instead of probably going to buy fish outside, then you, you harvest the fish and then you use it as your oh, okay. source of protein. What's the capacity of the tank? Uh, how many fish do you have in there? 500. 500. Okay. Yeah. All right. So viewers, you're still watching The Ghanaian Farmer. My name is Enyonam, and we are all the way in Asi Ganga. <laughs> Today I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so we are here to enlighten the general public. Those of you who watch from abroad, Germany, US, UK, Nigeria, Senegal, everywhere you are in the world and you're watching us today. This is a very novel initiative that is ongoing here. And so henceforth, if you have let's say five acre or ten acre, you want to do rice, you want to do a fish farm this is an interesting way of going about it i'm going to be speaking to another team member of the group to tell me more about the care you give to the fish um the feed you give to it and other things that you have to do of course you can even see yes. uh, a system that you can actually practice in the house those of you who love cucumber so much you know your sack the sack we use in the house and you throw it away you can use it to actually produce cucumber on that note i'm going for a quick breather when I come back, another team member will be joining me to tell me the form of help they give to the farmers and every other thing that there is to know. But stay there. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Thank you, Mr. Jebi. <laughs> I was the district agric director, uh, Mr. JB, who introduced us to this system and how they are helping farmers in terms of financially sustainability and helping them boost production, reduce the cost of production as well. Joining me now is Emmanuel, he's uh, a member of the group, or Ch he is a chairman. leader. Chairman. He is a chairman. I want to reduce his rank. He almost beat me. Mr. Emmanuel, thanks for joining us. Okay. Your full name is Emmanuel. What? Nakote Yuenchi. Okay, all right. So, um, now maybe, uh, Mr. JB, mm -hmm. about the Emadodua Omo group. Mm -hmm. How many women do you have? 34. 34, and the men? 66. 66. Okay, now I was also asking about the fish capacity in the pond. How many do you have in there? 500. 500 production. Sika Mudia, Ewenu, Se Emono. Uh, and now no any feed no how do you come about it obi a tia kakran kakran na say 
it's, it's sponsored by one person. Hey, you're sponsored. Okay. So the, the farmers didn't have to pay anything. Exactly. Nothing. Mm. All right. Then how do you go about sharing profits? At the end of the day, when you harvest the rice and the fish as well, profit sharing you know, is the thing. Okay. Hey, Anna, you're brown. Okay. You're brown marketing. Okay. Maybe that's it. Okay, has a thousand cities for a year. One acre. One acre. A year. For a year. Yeah. Okay, thousand if you want to buy. Okay, a make us a sponsor. Sponsorship near by. So, and nominee, as I say, renting this seed, BBA, Mudia Moon. It is all sponsored. Yeah. And I make her say, say, see, I'm a bench, I'm a harvesting. Mm. You'll be harvesting. Mm. More harvesting, we're not more for one. How do you share? Obi, I'm a man. Ah, yeah, yeah, the better accounts. Okay. Yeah, the better accounts. Okay. And this is a group there. Eh, if you are a cool being here, the B, Ebi, I hear a cool human, as if you could run, uncle, uncle, you my emu. We are cock or yeast can only be a boy, a cool man. Okay. All right. So Emmanuel was telling me the the whole project you see here is sponsored, but when the rice is harvested and sold, including the fish, they don't spend the money. It is actually taken to a coffers, kept there, and when there is a need for anything, the farmers will benefit from it. Okay. Um. How does this help you? Some project way and more banner and more farmers. A boy and pa boy boy and say. Uh, first, na I'm going to be my own. Now, you need me to be your own. And you need to be a cake. And you have to say, 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 you but Abra, you and my say, We are level. Okay. All right, so that's Emmanuel. I was asking him how has this improved your knowledge in terms of rice production and fish farming. And he says that gone with the days, it is done just anyhow. But when this project started, they've been showing on even how to actually create a bed or work, prepare the site for the rice planting. You know, you can see some edge here. So when it rains, it can keep the water. And then you'll be able to produce your rice without any struggle. Emmanuel, may that say. Thank you very much. Yeah. We have a woman. I can talk to just men. I need to talk to a woman and find out how are they collaborating with the men. Uh, because usually when projects like this happen, are they not delayed? Uh, Madame will be coming to tell me more about this uh, right after this break. <laughs> Last joining me now is Madame Sabina Nakote Nakote, and she is the women lead. Her choice is saying, Pacha, no way. Yes, ma'am, we are about 30 36. 36. And how how easy, how easy is it for you? Muni, ma'am, and where you may moba wine air day and wine air day. A name, ma'am, and a friend, a bar, and ma'am, no, a mob wire made you money, and a cock mirror my Okay, okay. Into a man a project way a mobile and pan album or any magician work if you are your own album in which way? Pacho, a boy and pa, okay. Senior, be man, he didn't can't can't yen first need yen if you are a and so a kind of way by yen, right? A boy and you from two masters and you go mono, you to treat it and now you denounce you know so a intama a boy, okay. Into the end, I'll be catching other farmers or more and crap and crap or more fool. Ah, uh, omu consider as a system we a foot to a ben or be mom. Eh, uh, foot to a medema, a queer for a ben ye and a queer nibia betting and say, Eh, for no yenny case ye, and now a bema wenya emo, and it's a first ye and a cry ye yamo, 
and they say, and it's a half full cry now. Ufu into my tass and now you're born now. Oh, yeah, obey yamu baby. Then you're the case, never my wine yamu. Auntie Sabina, Medasco. All right, so that's a very brilliant conclusion by Auntie Sabina. She's saying that, like I always say, it's not about the acres of land. Even if it's one acre and you practice the good system, you would get the full benefits. And that's what this project is all about. You can produce your cucumber from the water, the waste water that you're going to be changing around the fish. Same as your rice and other things that you can do. So be creatively in your farming moving forward. My name is Daniel and this has been the Ghanaian farmer. This week, I spent some time with Ase Gan Gan, Rice Farmers Association. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.